Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved, the Windows version of the popular cell phone game. Today we play the Simeon Flu. Hopefully this will be the third to last time we have to play it. Hopefully we'll get this done. Last time we chose the name Monkey Bone. Today I'm going to choose the Monkey King. The Monkey King, part of, I believe it is part of the tw Romance of the Twelve Kingdoms novel series that is very popular in China, so we'll start in China. But, uh, I don't know a lot about it, really. Uh, the, other than there was a Monkey King, sometimes he flies on a cloud called Nimbus. Uh, although that's translated, sometimes he has a magical staff. You probably have seen him. Uh, the original Dragon Ball series, not Dragon Ball Z, uh, Z, is somewhat referencing the Monkey King in the... What is his name? Goku? Was Goku the first character? Or was it Gohan? Uh, I haven't watched Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z in a long time, obviously. Um, valve time slower than thought. I want to get the 15 points out there. Let's speed up a little bit. Wow. That is 15. So now I want eight. Nausea mutated immediately. Authorities find the apes infected with monkey king. So I assume the monkey king disease has one guy assume leadership. One monkey. So I guess that's proof right there that I use the uh, the phrase guy in a very non-specious way because I'll even call the monkey guy regardless of gender or anything else. Uh, I think the proper term, at least from what I've heard, is you're supposed to say they. So. They, 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 all the time, which, alright, I'll try and learn that. Increase, uh, ape to ape transmission. Let's see if that helps. I don't think I can affect any other countries. Oh, I can't, but I will start another colony. I'll even start another another colony if I could. I like the monkey sound. That's pretty, pretty good actually. Yep. Playing a game as much as we have, we're starting to. I'm starting to appreciate things I've probably missed. You're getting into the subtle nuance of things. Symptom mutated. I need to start getting some transmissions up. We want air and water to get this thing going. I'm playing on fast, fast forward, which is an indication to me that I've finally woken up for the day and can. can I've warmed up. It takes a while for me. I guess I'm getting old. So that's all those transmissions. Let's get 24 to infect humans. And monkeys back and forth. Mm. 
then I guess I want to start working on drug resistance for 16 and cold resistance for 15. The one thing, one of the arguments you can make against this game is it's not really balanced, and I've probably said this before, but it, it's not like a game of chess where there are thousands of potential first moves that are correct, there are thousands of different ways you can go about it, and I, I don't even know if, if saying chess is the right analogy here, it might not be at all the right analogy. Uh, but it's not a game, a hypothetical game, let's say, where you can play it several different ways. It's all the same way. Every single country, it, pick a random country, I will only very slightly adjust to my strategy. Uh, the plague that I have will adjust my strategy more than the country will. And even the plague I have doesn't really change what you're trying to do. And in one sense, I, I could understand how that doesn't make a lot of sense. Obviously, your strategy is to win the game. But how you go about it is always the same. You're always trying to increase infectivity as fast as possible. You're always trying to... Uh, keep severity down until it's discovered. You're always trying to uh, increase lethality after you have everybody uh, infected. Uh, only in the necrovirus, where the cure comes just too early, do you really have to play a little bit different. And I suppose the bioweapon one because it starts with it being discovered and being so lethal you have to slow it down the process a little bit but it's still the same process you still want lethality at the moment uh, the Norax Worm uh, when you have transcendence as an option is a little different but not really I mean you're still infecting people you're just no longer killing them uh, because of that one symptom uh, how many countries are still unaffected? We have our Greenland? Really? I thought this was Greenland. No, that's Iceland. Interesting. I may have been thinking backwards for a long time. Still have Greenland uninfected and we have a lot of other countries. I think I need a warm country for 27. Uh, there's Greenland infected. Yeah, I put too much for the cold countries. China is not a warm country. That's why the Africas are now having trouble. Uh, the Africas, is that the proper way to say that? I don't know. Probably not. That is why Africa is having trouble being infected now. So, 46 points. Oh. That's not a pretty number. Morocco is the only country that's not infected. Now... How's Greenland doing? Slowly infecting people. We need to speed the game up a little bit more. Global action agreed against apes. Uh, Twelve monkeys watched that entire first season. I like that. I will just throw that out there with no real point. Slow down the cure a little bit. Um, of course 12 monkeys doesn't really have anything to do with monkeys. I'm not even sure if they showed a monkey in the 12 monkeys TV series. It definitely is, has diverged between, from the movie, 
which it had to. I mean, the movie was done in two hours, and it's taking the same concept and playing a different tune along that theme. I guess I could be destroying labs if they'd start building any labs. I don't see any labs here. Interesting, I have not seen any ad labs at all. We can start moving them. Off to Russia they go. All the countries are infected. We still have 413,000 uh, people uninfected. They're at 35% of the cure. I think we've got our infectivity up just fine. Reduce that. Insert some lethality here. Uh, I don't see any others that would increase lethality. Hmm, this one will, just slightly. Start killing off these people. Global research focused on the cure. I probably need to make the cure more difficult then. People are dying. Let's see, it would cost 48 DNA to do that. Let's get some more lethality that this is way. And keep it keep up the pressure the monkey king shall rise see that would be cool if it was, they had a planet of the apes type thing where it was just colonies of apes fighting against colonies of apes and the humans were barely anything but uh, passive observers Rise of the mo Monkey King. There are no healthy people left in the world. Everybody's infected. Let's see if we can just get everything. So I think we pretty much won this. There's nothing that could really happen. The cure is at 50%. Everybody's infected. It looks like all the apes are infected too, are there any, there are no dead apes at all. We didn't lose a single one. Oops. So we got 56. A little lethality there, a little lethality there. Make them super smart so we can get to total brain death. Uh, something I do did took the cure down a little bit. Not that it matters. Would humans really be able to defend themselves against uh, the apes if they became super intelligent? Uh, probably. There's, there's a lot of guns out there, and there's a lot of humans. I think in vast numbers, in numbers we would still beat them. The Monkey King creates the Planet of the Apes. Uh, unless they got so intelligent that they could lie in wait to the point where one night they went and took all of our guns away from us and used them against ourselves uh, against the humans 
that's about the only way. It would have to be a worldwide planned coup type deal. Anyways, that was 630 days. The cure got to 49% of the simian flu. We got 21,580 points on casual, of course. And let's see what we unlocked. Leadership. That's fitting since for the for a disease called the Monkey King that we unlock the leadership. Active abilities cost less DNA to use. Uh, still probably would want to stick with Together Strong. Uh, it's pretty cool, but it's kind of weird. The ones we unlocked immediately are the ones that are you pretty much want to use. We have two more times we have to do this. 95% of the genes have been unlocked. 100% of the plagues have been unlocked. Next time, Smallpox 2, The Return. We will hopefully, ever so hopefully, beat that scenario so we can move on to the next one. But that is all for next time. We are done for this time. As always, I ask you, to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, click on my name right though. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. If you want to follow or friend me on practically any social media, all those information links are down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.